Canberra held off a late Brisbane push to claim victory over the Broncos, after the Gold Coast Titans eased to a convincing win over the struggling Newcastle Knights. Catch up on all the Easter Sunday action. Quick navigation Raiders hold on to pip the Broncos. Canberra has kept its blistering start to the NRL season rolling with a hard 4-26-22 victory against Brisbane. It marks the 5-1 Raiders' best start to a season since 2003, while the 1-5 Broncos have slumped to their worst opening after six rounds this century. The Raiders dominated the early exchanges on Sunday at Canberra Stadium and skipper Jared Krokoff flicked a pass out the back for winger Nick Kotrick to score in the corner on six minutes. The Broncos had their first attacking chance just inside 20 minutes and Cody Kiko Rima made the most of it, sliding through with a simple dummy to draw level. Raiders star Joey Lila responded with some individual brilliance to beat four defenders en route to scoring on the half hour in front of 17,193 fans. External link, Raiders Broncos. Summary The Dally M Center of the Year bagged a double just four minutes later after Brisbane fullback Darius Boyd was forced to bat the ball into touch after relentless pressure from three chases. That pressure, not their last season for Canberra, is why they sit on equal points with competition leaders Melbourne, the Sydney Roosters and South Sydney. After Boyd's enforced repeat set, England international John Bateman gave a sensational offload to Lee Isla and Croker converted for a 14-4 lead after 34 minutes. Canberra picked up where it left off in the second half but Brisbane crossed first when David Fifita made the most of an overlap in the 50th minute. External link, Raiders Broncos stats Broncos playmaker Anthony Milford had the ball on a string against his former side and put Corey Oates in the corner with a pinpoint kick. Jermaine Isaaco converted and the Broncos went ahead 16-14 for their first lead of the game on 60 minutes, but the Raiders weren't done. Bateman darted out a dummy half to score his first try for Canberra before his countryman Ryan Sutton sealed the result by scoring in the 66th minute. Brisbane centre Jack Bird scored in the final two minutes to set up a grandstand finish but the Raiders held on. Canberra travel next round to face Manly, while the Broncos host Cronulla. External link Raiders Broncos chalkboard Titans enjoy big win over Newcastle pressure is mounting on besieged Newcastle NRL coach Nathan Brown after an injury hit Gold Coast down an error riddled Knights 38-14. Brown had reportedly been on notice at the Knights due to their underwhelming. Season start but appears on borrowed time after Newcastle's fifth straight loss and tenth in 12 games. The Omens didn't appear good at first on Sunday for the Titans, losing back rower Kevin Proctor, hip, quad, before the kickoff and skipper Ryan James knee by the 12th minute. But the Knights were their own worst enemies with a butterfingered first half display before threatening a late comeback. External link, Titans Knights Summary The Titans raced to a 28-0 lead before the visitors finally managed to get on the board via centre Heimel Hunt in the 55th minute. The Knights scored another two tries in four minutes when back rower Mitch Barnett caught Gold Coast fullback Michael Gordon napping to pounce on a grubber and star fullback Callan Ponga sliced through in the 66th minute to make a 28-14, but in the end, Newcastle was made to pay for its many handling mistakes. Newcastle's Errorfest helped Gold Coast to grab a 22-0 half-time lead with two tries scored directly off Knight's knock-ons, but whatever Brown said at the break appeared to fall on deaf ears. External link. Titans Knight's stats Knight's half-back Mitchell Pearce lost the ball when he looked to score under the posts in the 46th minute before Gold Coast pounced on an Edric Lee error to score three minutes later and blow the scoreline out to 28-0, Knight's reserve back. Connor Watson was also denied a 60th minute try due to a double movement after also bombing a four-pointer by dropping the ball near the line in the 17th. Gold Coast iced the result with tries to Tyrone Roberts and Gordon in the final three minutes. The victory marks the first time Gold Coast have won consecutive home games since 2017 after breaking its season duck with last round's victory over Penrith. But Titans coach Garth Brennan still had plenty of concerns with scans to determine the full extent of captain. James knee injury, suffered when he slid into Knights hooker Danny Levi. The loss of James and Proctor hit a Titans pack who were also without Jared Wallace, suspension. External link, Titans Knights chalkboard NRL ladder external link, NRL 2019 ladder AAP let's block ads.